All right, yeah, it's kind of like a trade-off, to be honest with you. I'm trying to figure out... Um, I want you to see a bit more of the overall view of what's going on, but uh, obviously a bit of the detail uh, of this combat that's about to occur. And to be honest with you, I'm a big chunker. Most of it or all of, of the, all of this video is just going to be rather a bit boring or whatever. But I just, I guess, wanted to show you what um, well, I did all the writing out, so at least you don't have to uh, be subjected to that. But it's more like um, just how to move, uh, like how I move the Alberto markers around and start getting, you know, the combats ready and so on and so forth. So what I've decided to do, I remember we're getting down to, I mean, the Austro-Hungarians' the Austro central powers. They only have two more turns left. And both sides, and it's not gamey. I thought it was gamey a little bit at the beginning. But, you know, from what I've been reading about, uh, you know, for example, in 1916, the Russians uh, mounting an attack early in, uh, or late in the winter, early uh, spring, before uh, uh, everything started to thaw and so on and so forth, or, you know, and su such as like um, the race to the, you know, to the sea and all that stuff. Same stuff's going on here. Um, basically, both sides are trying to hedge their bets and find out, uh, try to grab as much position as possible. When I see this, I can't let, uh, look, I know, okay, the Russians, I, there's no way I'm probably going to be able to push them all the way down, to, uh, back uh, down to Cernovitz. That being said, I don't want them to also have both towns uh, come January 1915 and everybody's entrenched like a maniac. So I'm thinking the best bit for me, and I've got such little supply, and also with the constraints that I've done with um, not allowing um, different core, uh, like for example, I can't move this army HQ and then start doing stuff, but I can transfer the supply. I can't have uh, this guy uh, do a coordinated attack, like hop on over and just magically, no, it's all kinds of things I can't do. But I'm also going to look at the reality of what the Russians are trying to do. Uh, Brusilov over here in the 8th Army HQ, he's right there. Uh, sorry, he's over here. I'm trying to nail this sucker. I've been trying to push him out, and he just keeps push, bringing more people across. And the problem is there's no effing way I can uh, get him with my limited uh, supply and um, troops across a river and in a town. It's just not going to happen. It's just going to be a massive... First of all, I'd have a, a really severe a penalty for the river bonus for him. And um, he's not forced to retreat unless I equ uh, equate the strength points that he's got in there. I have no idea what it could be. One, I don't know. But um, I'm not going to take the chance. So I still get the same penalty this way but at least I don't have to deal with uh, if this if the you know there's got like three strength points or two strength points I don't have to like have that amount to try to force a retreat because I've only got a third with the Russians so if this guy only has uh, one strength point or two strength points or three strength points I can uh, just n uh, nail him out with one hit that being said Let's take a look at, the, like I said, defensive bonus uh, thing here. Minus two for the attacker die roll, plus one for the defender die roll. I'm going to be bringing in a lot of troops here, and I'm also using the... I'm using the idea, like I know, there's no way in hell Bruce Silov's going to start moving across, like advancing. He's got nobody. I know he's, he's thin as hell, and he's got no supply points. It was like, basically it was almost like a last ditch or last minute... Um, idea for him to say, you know what, we're going to stay here and see what the hell they can do. And that's why they're bringing in the re uh, replacement units towards him rather than, like I was seriously thinking of bringing him back. But uh, that's it. So we're going for this this guy right here and you're going to see how I'm going to do it. Like I said, I'm going to go one step at a time here. So what I'm going to uh, first do is I'm moving the 39th Infantry Division at 3913. These guys right here. And uh, they're going to join BG-34. So these guys are going to go from a 2 to a 4. And what I'm doing is, like I said, I know Brusilov is not going to want to... Of course he's going to go. Give me a break. So I'm trying to force him to go, you know what, i got to get the hell out of here. 
that's what I'm trying to do. So, like I said, I'm try I'm going to show you um, maybe a bit boring or whatever. I'm just doing my thing. Here we go. And we're up to four strength points, and I pop you here. And then later on, I would you know like um, get rid of all the other stuff and check mark it off. But I know it's happening. And I'm going to move this guy over here. This guy's going to be mounting the attack. Sixth core. Who's sixth core, dude? Who are you? Opavar. Von Opavar. He's an interesting character. Hold on, let's see if I can find him. Where are you? I know I've got you somewhere, man. I'm sure of it. Damn it! Where are you? Von Opavar. I know you. Ha I have you. Oh, shoot. I have a picture of him somewhere. But anyways, he's bald. How's that? Um, he's going to be from there mounting the attack and now I'm going to transfer these two supply points from the second army. Um, who are you again? Uh, Bomber Moly. So there we go. I'm going to grab this too. This will be easy. So that'll use up a rail, uh, one of the rail capacity, and it sucked, man. I didn't want to do this because it's a single track. They're Austro-Hungarians. I can only use this one division. Boink, it's done. Um, yeah, so th this is closed off, over with even this hex. You see what I'm saying? That's where I, I love this game. Anyways, it's over with. But we now have, we've got the proper amount popping in. Remember, Core HQ can only do a maximum of two strength, uh, two supply points uh, for an attack. Eight strength points. So I've done that. I'm now going to move the 13th Hotzendorf Infantry Division out of BG-25. This guy, and they're going to be popped on over to here. I don't think that was the smartest place. I think I should have popped them over to here. Nah, it doesn't matter. Let's see what happens. Anyways, so you're going to go to a three. I'll pop you guys over to here. I'll grab a five. Hold on here. There we go. All right. Yeah, I was like, he's um, doing. If I, I would fall into his trap, trying to like, look, come oh on, God, that's like rough, rough terrain. That's even worse, I think, than woods. Um, yeah, I'm not getting into this crazy nonsense. Okay, so I've done that, I've done that. Uh, okay, let's see here. Oh, there's somebody else I needed to do. Hold on here. Four, five, nine. Is that it? I think so. Okie dokie. So now we've got the 33rd Infantry Division and the 13th Hotzendorf Division right here. Then we've got the um, 35th and the 39th right here going after this little dude and who's that guy why well, he's the 14th infantry division and he's got two strength points so what the heck does that mean I need just one hit to force a retreat how can I do that with a minus two to the die roll I'm fully supplying the attack you can kiss this goodbye that was the whole point there we go. Alrighty. God, it feels weird not getting ready for the live stream tomorrow, man. Weird. Alright. So now we're going after this sucker. Boink, boink, boink. No river bonus. Minus two to my die roll because of the woods. Uh, nine strength points in total. Um, fully supplied. Eight uh, attacking strength points. Remember, it's eight and a half, but round it down for the, um, the defender. As long as I don't roll a one, I will force a retreat. I hope you can see this. As long as I don't force, uh, hit a roll of one, I will force a retreat. That's all I want to do. I just want to start cracking, like making the yolk and everything else spill out of this Russian egg, man. I had enough of this crap. Oh my God, it was a one when I saw it. Don't you, don't you. Come on, let's go. Yes, done, done like dinner. Four. 
well, down to a two. And you're a one hit. That's all I need, a one hit wonder. Thank you. All right. So you're going to be forced back and um, zippity dip, baba trick, going towards the headquarters in Stanislaw, and I get to advance in. Don't get to do that yet. Um, they're forced to retreat. They're going to be um, doubled instead of tripled. Um, Bruce Silov has no, no supply whatsoever. So these guys are down to um, one strength point doubled. So I go on the two column with a plus one to their die roll. Oh, you're doing good, man. You're doing good. Guess what? You can kiss my ass unless I get a five. Why did I say kiss my ass? Because now they're going to probably kiss it. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Come on, roll low. <laughs> You've been rolling low most of the game, for Christ's sakes. Ah! A one. No, oh my gosh, that's got to be one of the, uh, I think maybe the first time this has ever occurred. So we're going to move these guys, as you can imagine. And I'll pop them into, I'll give them a, hold on. Got my strength points here. The Alberto markers, I'll pop them off, so I'll pop them here. And then I have to figure out, hold on here, I have to really take a look at who's, I think the Hotzendorf division would have to go because they're, they've never been um, taken out, at least at the bare minimum. And that's why I was like, shoot, I should have moved them another way. Uh, so BG29 has got the Hotzendorf division, so two points has got, to, or one point. No, what am I saying? Nobody, um, nobody took any hits, except it should be the most... So the Hotzendorf division will go that way. All right, that's okay. And then I'll move, um, hmm, hold your horses. No, I think I'm just gonna move the Hotzendorf division there. Or, no, I think I should move somebody else too. Maybe I'll do a double. So I'll move the 39th from here to there and the uh, 13th Hotzendorf division from there to there. So that means a five to a three. Okay. And I'll put a, oh, we'll just be reconstituted into a nine here. Oh, this is looking good, isn't it? You're gonna be a two. Okay, put this book down. All right. I think I did this right. Um, and then the nine, yeah, I've got to start putting some funky stuff back, hold on. So my Alberto marker to specify, that's the second army. Then this yellow dude to say that you're part of sixth core. Part of Von Opavar, and then I need four points because of the two points for the 39th Infantry Division and the two points for the 13th Hotzendorf Division. I'm pretty darn sure I did it right. Now, I think that's it for the for the second army. I was going to do, and I was like, no, I was going to start moving this troop over here to start wrapping them around, but I was like, wait a minute, these guys would be out of. Um, line of communication with these guys. It'd still be like in a funky way this way, but I'm not into that. I want them to really like properly communicate. Oh my God, on a side note, I have to do a super amount of it, uh, reading on the Fuller phone. I was at the uh, Canadian War Museum yesterday and taking notes uh, in the uh, in Gallery 2 World War One exhibit, and um, they had a thing on the Fuller phone and I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. So I wrote it down. I was like, there's a discrepancy here. Um, luckily, there was a museum guide there. And I started talking uh, to the person about it. And I was like, I think I found a discrepancy concerning your uh, description on the Fuller phone. Of course, I was wrong. But um, later on, when I started reading up, but I'm just glad that my brain is A, questioning, 
and B, accepting the fact that, well, B, that I went and go to find out and C, it's like, okay, you're wrong and you can accept it. <laughs> okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great time and I'm off to figure out what the hell they're going to do in the third army here. See if I can zoom out a bit. But, uh, geez, okay. You're, Chris, you're doing the right thing, man. You're doing the right thing. You're preparing for January 1915. Just remember that. But you got to get them the hell out of Stanislaw, man. Just got to get them the hell out of there. Okay, see ya.